Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings, just doing our weekly reading. It's only going to be short and sweet this week, um, just because I'm still having problems with my leg and so I have to stand up to do this because I need to be able to see the camera. Um, so I need to be able, I could probably sit down but I can't then see the camera. So I'm just going to make this a quick one and... Um, Let's have a look and see what the Faulkner Tarot has for us today. So, there we go. First card I have is the Knight of Cups. Absolutely love the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is, is Mr. Romance, really. Um, it doesn't have to be romance, but it, it usually is with the Knight of Cups. It can talk about a water sign younger person so not a child but you know sort of 18 to 30 that sort of age group um and it is a very lovely romantic energy it is very much like um i always think of it as the sir lancelot card so it's a beautiful beautiful energy the knight of cups it can be talking about romance it can be talking about um progress with something that's of an emotional nature the cards the cups cards are all about emotions our feelings um so it's a good card for our feelings for the beginning of the week um it's all it also can be talking about someone offering to help you with something or an offer of a job or an offer of other kinds of help so it's a really really beautiful start to the week we have a new moon um, at the beginning of the week so if your wish is for some romance this could be an absolutely brilliant card to go with that lovely new moon energy so i'm just going to pop down a card from the mons tarot we'll change this deck up probably next week um depending on how things go i've had a really not very productive week this week because i have i've got this problem with my knee um but also just to add some more fun and games into the mix i had my covid um jab on thursday and that kind of knocked me for six for a little while um because of the other medical conditions i have it sort of hit me um it hit me quite hard for a couple of days but i'm getting better than i was so that's good news and definitely better than having covid so um let's just see what we have to go with the knight of cups so with the knight of cups we've got the fall so the fall is all about new beginnings and new adventures it's a great card to get for the new moon um because that's all about setting your intentions and being prepared to kind of go and do interesting and exciting things and that quite often is what we wish for when we have um we put out our new moon wishes i will tag on the end of this video my little video that talks about um how to make new moon wishes um but you know really simple you don't have to go for a massive great big ritual you can of course you can um but you know something just as simple as just sitting quietly doing a little meditation lighting a candle and just writing down what it is that you would like to manifest for yourself but but write it down in a really positive way and almost write it down as if you've already got it so you're not kind of um making it too airy fairy so you're kind of feeling the feeling um of having that thing so it's a really great time to do that beginning of the week absolutely fabulous fabulous energy um so i'm just going to put down a brian card to go with this um for today and um yeah if i if i feel better in the week i'll put some more things up i've got unboxings i've got all sorts of stuff to do um to put up but with the fact that i'm hobbling around and still sort of just getting over the whole malarkey that goes on with with the conditions that i have i'll um just keep this one very short and sweet Follow, go, follow your gut feeling is what Brian has to say. So, great cards. You know what the answer to this is already. Start listening to your body. If your gut says yes, then great. If you're feeling shifty, then don't do it. Simple as that. 
all about tuning into your intuition. The fool can be talking about sometimes taking a risk, but you know, but follow your gut feeling with that. If it feels right, do it. If it doesn't feel right, then maybe don't. Thank you ever so much for watching. Sorry, it's a quickie. Um, but hopefully that's given you a little bit of an overview of what's coming up this week. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you can share it here, there, everywhere, that would be great as well. If anybody else would like to do that, that's really helps the channel out. And even if you just want to leave a comment down below, that really helps the channel. It, all interaction helps my channel be seen, which then helps me to get out and see and try and help more people, which is what I'm trying to do. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.